Paul Christ is out at Wisconsin, first reported by Adam Rittenberg of ESPN. That's been backed up by several folks. And I can tell you, I almost did a segment on this Thursday because this was in motion last week. Wisconsin has not looked good. In fact, they've looked pretty dreadful this year. They got drugged by Illinois yesterday. And apparently, as it was described to me, it was already a matter of when, not if, and Saturday just answered the question of when. That's how it was described to me earlier today. And so Paul Christ, Wisconsin head coach, really good record if you look at it on the surface, but things were certainly not trending in the right direction. I don't think this is controversial. I don't think this is something, if you know the inner workings of that program that people are going to look at and say, how could you do this? Now, there will be some folks out there that are probably more drive-by 50,000 feet types that don't get, they could not honestly tell you they've watched a Wisconsin football game this year who are going to say, you need to give a guy more time. Oh, you got a hair trigger up there. They don't. They know what they're doing. So they had already lost at home to Washington State, and they, of course, lost embarrassing fashion yesterday to Illinois. I got a couple of things to say about this, okay, and then we're going to move on. So the initial thought from most people who know that program is Jim Leonard. Defensive coordinator, one of the brightest minds in the business and one of the brightest, I would say, up-and-coming names in the business. He hasn't been in the business of coaching all that long because he was busy doing things like playing. He played at Wisconsin, uh, played in the NFL, but he's been up there since 2016 in varying roles, currently been the defensive coordinator for the last couple of years. My question there is, are they going to have a search or do they think they already have the guy? Certainly, Leonard's going to be your interim head coach. Are they going to have a search? If they do, I got one name, and then I'm going to burn the list because there's one name and one name only I'd go after. But they got to decide how serious they are about football. And I mean that relative to the other teams they play. Don't anyone email me or DM me and say, are you saying Wisconsin's not serious about football? No, I'm saying you got to be as serious as they are at Michigan, as serious as they are at Penn State and Ohio State, because that's who you compete against. You're in the Big Ten. You're not up there to go 6-6 six and six every year. And they were woefully inadequate organizationally in a lot of areas. And I, I do not myself have firsthand knowledge of the Wisconsin program. I haven't spent time up there. I know people who are close to the program. And if you, it would bore you to death if I were to go down this road, but if you were to be able to see behind the scenes at a lot of what you would think are the basic necessities in the world of staffing, in the world of recruiting, in the world of uh, strength and conditioning, they don't have some of those things that a lot of you would think are just staples. Oh, everyone's got that. D1, D2, D3, everyone's got that. No, everyone doesn't have it. That's why it's a blessing when you do have it. So that's the first thing, regardless of who the head coach is up there. They've got to answer the question. How serious are you about football? How bad do you want to win? Then we've got to find out if it's going to be Jim Leonard. And if it is him, by all means, he's earned the right up there. But if it's not him, there's one name to go after. And that's Lance Leipold over at, I, I, I want to say Leipold. And then every time I do, someone comes after me and says Leipold. So look, I'm probably just going to say his last name fast for a little while. But Lance Leipold, what he's doing at Kansas is incredible. I think everyone understands that. Everyone agrees with that. He's got a serious track record in the state of Wisconsin. Was it Wisconsin Whitewater? Two different stints. One as a head coach most recently in the 20-teens. And he did what you want someone to be able to do at Buffalo. And he's currently doing it again at Kansas. There's no guesswork. There's no figuring out whether he has the blueprint. When, was, when, when Nebraska, for instance, hired Scott Frost, they were hoping, but they found out. There is no hope with Lance Leopold. He, he, just, he knows how to do it. He knows how to turn something around, knows how to build it. It just comes down to whether, A, you can get him, and B, whether you want him, whether you think he's the right fit or whether you think you already have the candidate in-house. But my question, before they start to name a head coach or promote from within, I'd just love to know, how serious are they? Are they as serious as some of their other brethren in the Big Ten? All right, so that's happening right now. I mean, that's within the last hour. So they haven't even made an official announcement, or if they have, it's happened in the last 20 minutes at Wisconsin. So we'll have plenty more on that sometime this week. Guys, thanks for watching Late Kick. Make sure to leave a comment. I love interacting with you. But most of all, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. That's how we keep all of this free.